and we're back for vlog match day 437 out of 46 Fleetwood away hair you have to excuse it I'm not bothering with it um, this will be a really short intro because as you'll see after this intro I had quite an experience in the park on the way in um, yeah interested to say the least so score predictions get out of the way really quickly uh, look at the lineup sun changed I'm gonna go 1-0 Charlton oh, stop these playing actually we'll go 2-1 stop these scores May gets 2 actually no May and Carno. yeah 2-1 May and Carno. stop these scores for them um, hope you enjoyed the vlog sorry about the bad air day start the stuff fell out on the way in um, nice little gas to be fair guys enjoy Right, with two familiar faces, at first on my right, we've got Josh, Joshy Wilcox, Thank my you. mate. <laughs> and who's this over here? Nappers, Nappers, Ben, Ben. Familiar face, my most famous man in Fleetwood actually, so check out his vlogs after this, of course check out Josh's. I Ben might have something to say about that. <laughs> first of all, first things first, obviously, Charlton, Fleetwoods, might have some controversial views. What do you reckon Josh today? I'm going to go with a one-all draw. Um, I think we're going to, I think we'll come out, I think we'll be alright, but I just think Fleetwood have got so much to play for. So do we, to be fair. We're not fully out of it yet. I don't want to get dragged back into it. So I'm hoping both teams go at each other and it's sort of a it's a good contest rather than a than a scrappy one one. I'd rather it was a an exciting one all draw. No dull affair like the weather then, eh? No no but yeah. <laughs> that was what you reckon. I think it's again scrappy affair. We need to win it. You're a good side, seven unbeaten. Obviously I think you've won three of which, drawn drawn the other four. You know, you Correct. only lost the first game after Nathan Jones has been in the building, what, less than 72 hours. Um, it's going to be a tough game. I think it'll be a draw. We need to commit, but committing against a side with the likes of, you know, George Dobson, Connor Coventry, Alfie May, Carney up front. You know, you're a good side. You'll find holes in us. I can, if anyone's going to win, I think it'll be you. But I think I'll nice. take a draw now. We need a win. But I think you'll, I think you'll either beat us or I think if we can... Get a point out of this, but beat Cheltenham is a good four points. But if we draw this, I'll be frustrated. But we need it's kind of on that Cheltenham game whether this is a good result, if you get what I mean. No, so, I follow, I follow. Uh, big game, yeah. No, it is indeed. Back over to Josh. Um, obviously, rest of the season, you've probably got the same expectations as me now. It's a stabilisation job next season, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think it's just getting as much results as we can through the yeah. door, bring the confidence, and hopefully show some players on the market that what we're about next season. Cool, it's lovely stuff. Naps back over to you. Um, in terms of today, obviously I'm aware of some of your players, you've obviously highlighted them. What what do you reckon in terms of who, who will unlock if it's gonna be someone today, who's gonna unlock that who's gonna unlock the channel? Who's gonna break through for you? I think you need to look at Boston Lowell, number five in midfield. He's been excellent in central midfield. I think you need to look at Stockley as well, I think he'll have a point to prove. I think he scored against you in the season as well. Yeah. Um, you know, first goal of the day and then um, potentially a Brendan Weird who's also with you in the academy as well um, so there's a couple you know in there that we have got some good players it's a good team that's a bit like yourselves on the lower par that has underachieved and if we had Charlie from when we sacked Scott obviously I think we sacked Scott a week after you sacked Dean Holden yeah. we, I think we'd be in a similar position to you a couple of wins needed to stay up but unfortunately we're not in that, that department yet and um, we find ourselves six points adrift with, with eight to play Fair days, right. Well, I wish you the best in staying up, genuinely. All the best. And uh, nice All to meet you. Take care, Josh. Thank you, Charlie. And um, mate. both, shake hands. Oh, we do a little side. Come thing. on! <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Here you go. Can we hear that there? Bit of a surprise one. I don't know, Mike. Yeah, look, yeah. Don't know. Here we go, it's a little loggy. What is it, Rock? Yeah, it's not all about you, you know. The bouncy, you know, got your head in the clouds and your nose in the snow. Temptation's there, but you can't say no. It's not bad. It's not all about you, you know. It's not all about you, you know. Got an image of the magic roundabout. All you want to do is scream and shout. Yeah. It's not all about you, you know. 
Sometimes it's not about who you know. You know you need to learn to let it it go. He knows him. Leave the others blown away in the snow. There you go, look like that, okay? Yeah? That there, yeah. Right. <laughs> You're that a Fleetwood there, yeah. fan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go, that's the important part. Yeah, Good right. song. Bit of Oasis that was, weren't it? Yeah? Very much, yeah. What do you reckon today about the game? Fleetwood have been doing alright, we're unbeaten for quite a few games now. Yeah? Alright. Maybe a draw. We'll make it well, a quick I'd like a win. What, what's your thing so people can find it? Um, little Loggy. The, uh, Little Loggy on um, TikTok. Yeah. And in the next few weeks, my first song's coming out. It'll be everywhere on YouTube. Yeah. And Spotify, all, everything. So. All right, good mate. 23rd, nice. 23rd of. Uh, nice to meet you, month. mate. Good luck to you. All right. And you. Take care, yeah. See you yeah. later. Kick off, and I'm by looking at it. That's a pen. It's got to be a pen. Oh, come on. It's got the chance. That's it. Right. Go on, stop there on the first goal scorer. I've had a bet on here, stop your first goal scorer, 55 quid, say it quietly. Fuck's sake, stoppers. Oh, I know. It's like 55 quid here. Oh. Why? Come on, now. Analysis in the Dan time. Uh, I think Ten Eye's been injured. I've obviously jinxed him when I won that fucking photo. I'm here with my new mate Paul. What do you reckon? How are you going? Uh, not the best first half. Take one nil. Yeah, no, I'd uh, say so. Yeah. Need to push on, get three points, and relax for the rest of the season, right? Yeah. Yeah. Spot on. Uh, who's Rex playing well for us today? Who do you reckon? Uh, Carlos putting a shift in as ever. Who's that? Sorry. Carlos putting a yeah, shift yeah, in Carnu's as ever. Everywhere, isn't he? Obviously he's got his bandage on. Uh, Blocking everything, chasing everything. Uh, Anderson's doing well, but the balls, the balls from midfield are not quite hitting our eight today. Yeah. Not quite hitting the front men. Uh, Fleetwood looking solid. You know, they six without six or seven without a loss. You yeah. see why? Yeah. Not the greatest, but they work hard. Uh, and obviously, we're a do. You like it? He's looking good. Yeah. Yeah. Good player. Yeah. And Stotty looks a bit lively as well, doesn't he? So. Yeah. 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 Do you reckon one nil or stay one nil? Uh, I think there's. I think we've got another goal. I think we've got another goal yeah, this year. I'd say so. I've seen them scoring as well. So, yeah. uh, clean sheet for us. Clean sheet. I'm going to go for it. You've heard it here clean first. Clean sheet win. Yeah. What a song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's the only from me. The main man Paul. Um, not much trade from my point of view. Uh, I'm bored as shit. <laughs> bored shitless. Uh, I was in an arcade before this. So I was saying to Paul, and uh, I was playing some proper good sniper game. And I was having the time of my life. And I've come here. And I'm pretty boring, but we'll, we'll take the win. Jokes aside, I said at the start, well, I said about a few months ago, Mark will decide this season. That little run of Carlisle, Cheltenham, and he's not. The win here will stand up 100%. Don't fancy fleet with chances. That's about it, really. Bit of a long one. Guys, take it easy. The same, weren't he? <laughs> Good effort. Mate, a little fucking.
asking what's his name's in there somewhere celebrating. the end of the vlog the reason why i didn't do a proper outro is because of this before the game happy with a point after the game it's just frustrating because it was it was dross yeah there you go and as usual check out joshua boys channel right yeah lovely um yeah stay safe and of course apologies to josh and myself past charlie i thought the um i thought the mic was working properly it wasn't so Josh obviously gave the rundown. In a nutshell, he basically just said that he doesn't think we're quite safe yet. And I agree. I feel if we beat Fleetwood, that would have seen us home safe because we weren't going to lose, like, you know, six games or whatever for the rest of the season uh, to not get enough points. So I think the win would have been big, but I expect us to make up those one or two points throughout the rest of the season. So it should be fine. And uh, that's all Josh said. Uh, of course, check out Josh's video and... With Cambridge on the horizon, April, what, 13th, um, Josh and Nick, my two good mates, they're, they're walking from the valley to Cambridge. It's for a good cause. I'll drop the dono page in the description. So any support for those two lads be much appreciated. They are proper decent guys, like a uh, great social company at games, and they follow child through the country. And yeah, just, uh, you know, good good stuff for them doing the walk. Massive Good luck and future congratulations. All the best to him. Uh, while I've got this in my head as well, shout out to uh, jo John West. Uh, you all always say I'd give you a shout out. I was hoping to actually see you at one of the games and get you on that way. But, you know, here, here's your little shout out, mate. Hope you're having a nice weekend. And everyone else watching the video for that matter. It's now Sunday because obviously I uh, botched the post-match yesterday. Still having a uh, bad hair day. Fuck knows what I'm going to do with that. Oh, another note. For those who wouldn't know, it's a signed 10 R Watson photo. I won it at the East End Addicts auction before I just mentioned that. Um, and the plan is to basically get a picture of 10 I holding my picture of 10 I and get him to sign that photo. And I'll probably keep doing that until I've got a endless supply of signed 10 I photos myself, if that makes sense. Bit of a waffle there. Um, yeah, so thoughts on the game are, and I'll keep it really short, I've really found it boring, to be honest. It, it sort of enlightened me how far we might actually be from where I think we are. Because before, I thought we had nucleus of the squad for next season, but a few of those players are really lacking. And yeah, I, I still think we're in a fight, so I don't think they should be lacking against the team with all due respect. Fleetwoods aren't exactly a great side. They're quite physical and they look tough to beat, but there's not much skill on show. So I feel it's quite disappointing to get a draw against them. Uh, no respect to Fleetwood or your fans if you're watching. Just how I see it, I, you know, I think we should win those sort of games, especially when we've got things to play for ourselves and you've got players trying to earn contracts and whatnot. Weren't a great show, was it, for them? So yeah, d disappointing result, uh, disappointing performance, and I'm sure Nathan Jones fit the same thing. Um, my old mucker Paul Davenport was on Charlton Live earlier and he's also himself said that he thinks about five or six of those players are up to it I'd probably agree with that maybe less actually if I'm being but I'll, I'll, I'll save that for another video until the season's done that wraps it up um, lovely drive to Blackpool again roadworks aren't a pain in the arse on the way back honest to God uh, really enjoyed the arcades Blackpool and Fleetwood folk for that matter the lovely people as per always enjoy going up there and yeah it'd be a shame to see them go down uh, in a way because I quite like being in Blackpool 
but equally, I hate that long away day, so I'm stuck in two minds. I hope you stay up, so I don't want to see anyone go down Fleetwoods, but uh, that that trek is a it's a killer. It's a killer, mate. But yeah, wish you wish you all the best. Um, what else have we got? Nice one for Nappers going on as well. Speaking with Josh, uh, shout out Little Loggy, yeah, with his song that was fantastic, and um, that was probably the highlight of the day, if we're honest. Uh, that was the most exciting thing that happened. Other than playing my little um, sniper game in the arcades and my old uh, axe throwing, that was fun as well. Anyway, that's a proper ramble. Kitchen HQ had to come back. I didn't think I'd see this for a while. Uh, just, yeah, just an absolute mic bosh. Probably spoke for way too long as per. Can't see the time, but yeah, I imagine it's well over two minutes. Anyway, guys, enjoy your weekend. Sat Sunday, no vlog because of international break. Wigan bottled it. And uh, next one will be Friday, Exeter. Unless I randomly decide to go to a game as a neutral. I might, we'll see. I might do a neutral vlog. In fact, I, it's probably unlikely, that, but if you want me to do a neutral vlog and you got this far, write in the comments and, and tell me. And if you spot a game you think you'd be interested in watching me maybe do as a vlog as a neutral, post it in the comments. I'll have a look and see what's what. And I might just do it. Other than that... Stay safe, enjoy what you're doing, take care as you're doing it. I will see you at the next one.